with YouTube and it's Mint! And welcome to Great World Fitness. Now you've seen the title and you Sue's put it up. What's the title soon? Fade out. Fade out. Why are we all shouting? I don't know, actually. <laughs> shouty, shouty. <laughs> Listen, listen, I've just had my pre-workout, I'm going to be training soon, so we're going to do a quick review on Redcon 1's Fade Out, their sleep and recovery product. Now, this, to be honest, this is... Not a, something you would have bought. No, it isn't. But Sue bought it me on the uh, when they did the Black Friday deal. It was a Christmas present. So... And why did she buy it you? Because you've not been sleeping. Because no, well, it's... <laughs> yeah, you haven't been. You've been having no. a crap night's sleep. Crap night's sleep. So, now I'm not one for uh, giving you all the spiel on what's in it. I like to give you like a layman's review. We shall leave Redcon 1's full uh, video in the description so you can go and see what's particularly in it for sleep and recovery. But, what you want to know, does it actually work? And by well, God... Well, when do you take it? And how much of it do you take? Well, I'm gone. I'm going to get to that. So the premise is it. Premise of it is... Take it. About half an hour later, you want a bit of a kip. So, to start with, they say to try it with half a scoop to see what your tolerance is like, which I can understand, with 8 to 10 ounces of water. Now, that is the one thing I'm a bit... It's a lot of water. That is a lot of water late at night, especially if you're like me with an old man bladder. You don't want to be you want to take a you don't want to take a sleep formula and be thinking Am I gonna piss the bed? Am I gonna piss the bed? <laughs> Look, that's a bit well but true. So I take it with as little water as possible. So I've taken half a scoop to three quarters of a scoop to a full scoop and the three quarters of a scoop gives me a nice six hours um, deep sleep. Now I know you're going to say, oh, you need seven or eight hours, but I, for me, as I'm getting older, um, six hours of, of decent sleep is that's spot on for me. But another word of warning, if you're with a partner that doesn't like you snoring, be careful. Because mm. as soon as you take this, you, half an hour later, I'm going to tell you, you're going to be in the land of Nod. And if you snore... Yeah, you've also developed a twitch with your leg. Yeah? So every 30 seconds, this leg twitches <laughs> and the bed shakes. Because I'm in such a deep sleep with it. Yeah? So, now, with... You I've really got... had the pillar up. <laughs> so yeah. <full> <laughs> yeah, when I'm left there for two hours listening to you sounding like Darth Vader. Which you did actually play. I did record you. <laughs> play it back and to play me. Play it back. So there is a word of warning <laughs> there with it. And uh, also, you did have freaky dreams. Yes, uh, because there is a ZMA in it, and, and any product I've tried in the past that has, um, whether it's a ZMA product or a product with uh, ZMA in it, it does give you uh, deep, vivid dreams. I think basically because it's giving you deep sleep, you go and you have some freaky dreams. There were some zombies chasing me the other night. Didn't that leave you one night? <laughs> or ask you to leave or something? Oh yeah, you'll get all that! You'll, you'll get all that! That's probably wishful thinking on, on yeah, Sue's part. But yeah, I wouldn't take it all of the time. Just if you're going through... Everybody goes through uh, bouts up. of stress and um, whatnot. Sorry. So, yeah, it's, it's for those times when you're not sleeping very well. Give this one a go. Like I say, it's, it wasn't a product I would have bought myself, but having tried it now, it's definitely one of those products I'll keep... Um, in your arsenal. Yes, in my arsenal for times when I'm um, not sleeping very well. The other thing as well, it does say to take it on an empty stomach, which I find that's going to be pretty hard, that. Unless you have your last meal quite early in the day, say 5, 6 o'clock. Some people don't have some their last do, meal. Though, we eat like... Some people do, but some people have their last meal, you know, eight, nine, ten o'clock at night, and that's going to be quite hard to take this on an empty stomach. So, to be truthful, I've I've taken it, you know, just an hour and a half after the main meal of the day, and I've slept fine. So, but it is one of those. It's nice to keep in the in your arsenal, as Sue says. 
So, on that note, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. What else, babe? Leave a comment. Leave a comment. We'll catch you next time.